You're listening to the Experiencing God Day by Day podcast, brought to you by Blackaby Ministries International. September 7th, long enough on the mountain, Deuteronomy 1, verse 6. The Lord our God spoke to us at Horeb. You have stayed at this mountain long enough. If God allowed us to live on the mountaintop, we would not experience trials, but neither would we achieve any victories. The Israelites had gathered at the foot of Mount Horeb while God spoke to them and gave them his law. It was a breathtaking experience. Fire and smoke covered that awesome mountain. Lightning flashed and loud trumpet sounds pierced the air in a deafening crescendo. The ground at the foot of the mountain shook and the people trembled in fear. Exodus 19, verses 16 to 25. As important as it was for God's people to have this inspiring encounter with him, their Lord had not rescued them from Egypt in order for them to settle around a mountain in the wilderness. God delivered them so that they could conquer the promised land. God wanted to demonstrate his power to the Israelites so that they would trust him in their conquest of Canaan. Finally, God announced that they had been long enough at the mountain. It was time to go to battle. The mountain is an enticing place to set up camp. Peter, James, and John were prepared to reside on the Mount of Transfiguration with Jesus, but their Lord knew that a demon-possessed boy needed their assistance down below. Matthew 17, verse 4, and verses 14 to 18. At times, God will graciously provide you a mountaintop experience. These times come in many settings. During your time alone with Him, at a Christian conference, by reading a Christian book, or at a prayer meeting. You may wish you could spend the rest of your life basking in the glow of your encounter with God. But remember, these mountaintop encounters are God's way of preparing you for the battles that await you. This podcast is based on the book Experiencing God Day by Day by Henry and Richard Blackaby, published by B&H Publishing Group, music by Mark Brown.